Since King Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings was discovered, there have been legends that anyone who tried to approach the king's final resting place would endure a terrible curse. Even though the Valley of the Kings isn't quite as dramatic as a murderous mummy, it's widely believed that many people involved in discovering the tomb were soon cursed and died in mysterious ways. One night on November 4th, 1922, while a young child riding his donkey home, he was a part of a British excavation team led by Howard Carter. Further excavation revealed an intriguing room buried far beneath the shifting sand, at which point the animal material abruptly descends into a hole beneath the sand. One of the most spectacular archaeological finds in recorded history is found by Sands when they peek inside. A massive treasure. The long-lost tomb of King Tutun Commons was guarded by two enormous statues and contained a treasure trove of gold and ebony items. It was also sealed with an intricate pattern of rope knots and clay. Professor of Anthropology at USC Thompson said that the King Tutankhamun top was a truly stunning discovery that made headline news across the globe and really sort of captivated the public's imagination at the perfect time. Unlike the majority of other ancient tombs that have been discovered, this one was preserved, and as a result, there is a vast amount of archaeological information and an absolutely amazing collection of items. The press assembles to witness Howard Carter finally breaking the seal to close King Tut's burial chamber on February 16, 1923, just after 2 p.m., the archaeologist said. Carter had spent nearly three months cataloging the more than 5,000 artifacts discovered inside the tomb's antechamber. Carter started digging the burial chamber inside of the 210 Commons tomb and found the Tune Commons untouched burial, which was largely enclosed in nine protective layers. Extremely lavish with gold and valuable stones, the sarcophagus is decorated. Carter began opening the inlay, which has several layers until you get to the center layer, which is obviously King Tutankhamun's mummy. When Tutankhamun's mummy removed the funeral death mask and proceeded through the several stages on his own, he was able to glimpse Tutankhamun's face, which had been concealed for about 3,500 years by mummy wraps and the bundle itself. According to Egyptologist Ahmed Osman, the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb can be seen as a kind of resurrection because, according to Egyptian belief, if a person is forgotten or his name is not mentioned, his death is considered final. And people after this only continue to live as long as they are remembered are recalled. As Howard Carter and his team were beginning to celebrate their accomplishment, a series of coincidences started to affect them, according to Jonathan Young. That evening, Howard Carter is having dinner when there is a commotion in the next room. He enters to find his pet canary being attacked inside its cage by a king cobra. This set off an international media frenzy. King Tut's mummy made headlines in nearly every major newspaper in the world. The entire expedition was present. He was bitten by a mosquito as they were counting the valuables, and a few days later he accidentally nixed the bump with his razor, causing it to infect and cause blood poisoning, which led to his death. After handling the mummy, a renowned British radiologist named King Tut made his way to the site. However, not one but seven members of Howard Carter's expedition perished shortly after Tutankhamun's burial chamber was reopened. It's possible that their untimely deaths were just coincidences, but it's also a possibility. Many people believed that the archaeologists had somehow unleashed an irreversible curse by upsetting King Tut's tomb. The mummy curse is meant to prevent people from entering tombs because the Egyptians warned that doing so would result in problems and those who did so ended up dying in peculiar ways. Mummy death did not signal the end for the ancient Egyptians, but in order for the spirit to be able to function properly, you actually had to maintain your physical body in order to ensure that you would live forever. Thanks to the heritage sector's increased emphasis on the ethics of the past, the narrative of the tomb is once more in the public eye, acting as a focal point for reviewing history and reaffirming Tutankhamun's role as the most well-known character in antiquity.